Hello, this is a SplineLand tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you some of the basics and actually all you can do with SplineLand version 1.03 or 05, I cannot remember. So here are here is a grid of topography line that I've prepared. This is a fantasy uh, grid. But actually, when you get a surveyor file, you will notice that the splines are all already in 3D, so that uh, you will see something like this if you move them in 3D. So first, we're going to create the basic uh, ground based on these shapes. And I'm going to the spline end and press the button, of course, Dra drag see the icon and first and only thing to do now is to add an object under splines and select and when I'm done I will generate a surface so you can see that the surface is more or less uh, exact so that you can see it's done blazingly fast uh, what I need to do now is make it a bit more high resolution so we can go up to 10 iterations it will take obviously a bit more time and if I want to have a greater detail I will go to 12 and this will take noticeably more time than the 8 or 10 iteration action so let's let it create. It does take a bit longer, but not at all that long. So in less than 30 seconds, if I'm not mistaken, you get a nice <coughs> ground area. I, I made this area about 400 to 500 meters in, in size, as you can see, it has many, many more faces, but altogether you get a very nice ground. And this would be it if you only need to create a, a nice a piece of land. And what I want to do, I want to create a bridge actually a road and a bridge that uh, are going inside this land zone. So first I will show you the, the, the line that I drew. So you can see that I drew a, a shape, then I offset it in center so that you can actually, if I'm going to demonstrate it, like I, I drew something like this basic shape, and then I went and selected the element, sorry, this element, and in the outline, make sure that it's centered and drawing so that you can have symmetrical uh, road shape. Okay, so let's delete it. And then I edit, I use Edit Poly to, to, to make it a mesh because the spine land, spine land only converts the editable mesh or poly into certain, it doesn't only uh, take in uh, consideration meshes so that um, I'll show you the, the road and the bridge that I created. So we have a little island, a small island here and uh, the road is more or less like this. So first I'll turn on the topography that we had. And now you can see that we have a road that goes from here, goes over imaginary water that I will add later. It's a little island and the road goes and continues. But what happens is that if I select the road and I want to make a bridge here, obviously. And then I, let's reduce the number of iteration to 10. And I will generate, I will show you 
In order to take into consideration in the calculation of the road or any surface, we should use the platforms area and add an object. So I'll select the road and it adds it, and now I'll generate uh, the topography. And as you can see, quite fast. And uh, what you can see now that <coughs> when we want it, and a bridge, <coughs> you can see that it elevated the terrain to fit the slope of the road. This is not what we want. So I'll remove the road and I'll generate it again. And this time I'll use a different bridge, which is actually the same bridge, but I cut those bright areas out of the mesh so that only this blue area will be calculated. So again, let's select the topography and add an object, this time only the blue mesh. And let's regenerate it. Okay, as you can see, it added some ground here and here but it still leaves me space to build a bridge. And then, if you can see, as you can see, it cut the ground here you know, to make the road a nice path and to pass through the ground without uh, any problem. And here in this area, I added the nice slope here, like a ground filling. Okay, so I added another part for the bridge, which will be a road that goes here and goes along the, the hill. And this is this one. So maybe this is not it. Oh, it's here on this, on this side. So as you can see, this area, this part, which I will move into the light color, is the new road. It will go out from here and goes from up. And again, I want to have an area here that is only a bridge, not a ground. So I will select it apart, add this geometry, this green geometry, and generate. And as you can see, we have a road that goes from here and creates the required fillings and cuts along the way. And now, in order to use those meshes, we'll add shell modifier so that we can elevate them a bit above the ground. And so let's add some something like 50 and add this one shell 15. This again, 50, and that area with it. So we have a nice road. Obviously, I will not show it in the tutorial, but you can use a plugin like Rail Clone to add railings along the road using the splines that are generating the faces. And last thing, thing to show you is. I add a water volume, and obviously you can use the plane. It's a simple plane, but you can play with it so to create a more elevated water face, or what, whatever you want it to look like, or if it has to match a certain reality or sight. And so this is it. One more thing that is, is that um, if I create a multi sub material, let's apply this one to, to the topography, and I create a four part multi sub material just to show. It. And let's create a different color. It 
should have been non instance. So this is something I made by mistake. Okay, so create a different color. Change this one to like blue, yellow, and pink or pinkish. And if I render, render, you can see that ground cuts are one ID, the topography is the second one, the road itself is fourth, it's in like yellowish color here, below the green road that I created, and the red and fourth material is the fillings of the ground. So basically this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a great, great plugin. It's a new plugin. Not that expensive at all. And I, mean, I highly recommend it. Obviously if you want to create a frame to cut the, uh, the rectangular area, because if you can, you can see the topography lines uh, are used to create a much wider area of ground, which is nice if you don't need, if you use it uh, without any surrounding. But if you want to put the topography inside a certain zone, which is already built at 3D, you have to cut it. And I recommend using the product a Pro, -Cut Pro Cutter plugin, which comes with 3ds Max. Uh, is a built-in plugin. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please do not hesitate to ask me questions. Uh, thanks again. Goodbye.